Hello, and welcome to another X-Ray Tech tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to automatically create a set of nested folders in Google Drive using Zapier. This means that you will be able to create a new folder and add folders within it, all in one automation. Let's get started. To start, you'll need to create a triggering event before you can add actions like creating folders. For this video, we'll use a new record in our Airtable database of clients as our trigger. Once the onboard box is checked for a client in this database, that record will appear in the onboarded clients view, triggering the automation to run. To learn more about triggering automations with Airtable, pause this video and click on this link. Now that we've laid the groundwork for our trigger, the next step is to open Zapier and create a new Zap. Under Choose App and Event, choose Airtable, and under Trigger Event, select New Record. Now it's time to test your trigger. After a quick test, add a step, choose Google Drive as the app, and choose Create Folder as the action event. Select the drive that you'd like to use, or leave the field blank to default to using My Drive. Next, you'll need to specify the parent folder where you want to create your first new folder. The easiest and most reliable way to identify a Google Drive folder in Zapier is to grab its ID from the URL. In a separate tab, launch Google Drive and open the folder that you want to use. In your address bar, highlight the string of characters that comes after folders. This is the ID of the folder, and referencing it is the best way to designate a folder for use in Zapier. Take this copied ID and paste it into the parent folder field. Now, give your new folder a name. We recommend using data from your trigger to make sure that the name will be unique each time that the automation runs. We'll use the client name from our Airtable trigger. Test this step and then check Google Drive in a few minutes to make sure that the new folder has been created as expected. To create subfolders within the parent folder, add another Google Drive new folder step. This time, set the parent folder as the folder that you created in the previous step. You'll do this with the folder's ID again, but this time you won't have to open up a new tab. Click on the Parent Folder field and click on number two ID. This means that Zapier will use the ID of the folder created in step two. Give a name to your new folder. We're going to name ours Company Deliverables. Continue and test this step. You can use the alternate link to pull up your folder in Drive and confirm that it worked properly. If you'd like to add more folders, you can repeat these steps. Now you can turn your zap on and give it a complete test all at once. Add a new record to your Airtable view or do whatever you need to in order to activate your chosen trigger and wait a few minutes. Once the zap runs, it will create all of your folders simultaneously. Just note, you may need to wait several minutes in order for your zap to run. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check out all of those links in the description down below, and as always, don't forget, keep the flow.